Hey guys, what is up? It is Stop Nine Seventeen, and for the past few weeks or so, I've seen these iceberg videos, and it got me thinking: What if there's a Loud House iceberg? I say this because the Loud House is my favorite TV show, and I want to see more information on it. Come to find out that all the videos are in Spanish, so I guess it's my first Loud House iceberg in English. This iceberg that I'm tackling is by Nignus El Marino. I'm sorry if I messed up your name, man. Please correct me in the comments if I did. But yeah, he made this iceberg, and if you want to see his YouTube or Twitter, then go check it out. The link will be in the description down below if you're interested. But enough talking. Let's go right ahead and dive into the Loud House Iceberg. The Loud Mascots are named after real writers. So, I believe I'm already stumped on the first entry. I think this is implying that the Loud House characters are named after real writers, but I've looked and I can't seem to find any information on this. The Loud Ones were originally going to be rabbits. So before the Loud House was a green lip, it was originally about a family of rabbits, and Lincoln actually had a lot more than 10 sisters. There's even an episode called White Hair where Lincoln has a vision of having a rabbit family. Clearly referencing the original idea for the show. 1216. This one is pretty simple. On the Loud Families' house, their address numbers are 1216, and this is a reference to Chris Savino's, the show creator's, actual address numbers, which are 1216. References. In the show, there are a few nods to some cartoons. For instance, in the first episode, where Lincoln is seen looking at his sister's fighting, on the TV, there's a brief instance where Spongebob and Patrick show up, as well as Charlie Brown and Linus from Peanuts. The Lau sisters are based on Savino's family. So this is true. Savino had five st sisters and was the middle child of the family, and based that off of the Lau sisters. Some of the sisters were named after his pets, while others were named after types of media. The Loud House comic, San Diego, San Diego Comic Con, 2015. This is just referring to comics that was sold in the San Diego Comic Con along with Spongebob, Sanjay and Craig, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics. And, as you guessed, the Loud House was also one of them. Beta Designs. This is just talking about all the beta designs for the Loud House kids, with all of them pretty much looking the same like they do in the final show, besides Luna, Lori, Lenny, and Lisa. The rest of them look closely like they do in the actual show. The actual origin of Lincoln's name. Lincoln Loud, the main character of the Loud House, is actually based on the street that Chris Savino actually lived on, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Crew cameos in the show. The best example I can find is in the is in the episode for Bros About to Rock, where Lincoln, Clyde, and Luna are waiting in line for a concert. In the background, some of the characters are based on the writers on the show. Okay, so we are finished with layer one. Most of this information was pretty easy to say. It was also pretty fun to do. But, my friends, we are only on the first layer. There's still two more to go. So let's move on to layer two. more than 10 sisters. Just like we mentioned in layer one, the show was originally about rabbits and Lincoln had more than 10 sisters. So I assume that's what it's talking about. But if it means more than 10 human sisters, then I can't find information on that. Get the message uncensored. I legit can't find anything on this one. All I know is the original version of the episode, the one that is censored. If anyone has information on this entry, then let me know in the comments. Lincoln is not allowed blood. There was a theory going around that Lincoln was adopted and was not a member of the family. This was until the season 2 episode, Not Allowed, where it was revealed that Lincoln was born in a limousine where the first lady handled him. So this proves that Lincoln is not adopted, but it still raises questions about his white hair. Lana is older than Lola. According to a tweet from the show's writers, Lana was revealed to be the older twin. In the season 1 episode, Ties That Vine, it is revealed that Lana is older than Lola by 2 minutes. 
to be honest, I always thought that Lana was the older twin. Lenny's original design. Going back to layer one, I mentioned that some of the last siblings in the designs were different, and one of those siblings was Lenny. Her original design was that she was eight years old, had super strength, and was a lot more ahem, rounder. But in the end, we got the Lenny we all know and love today. Clyde's parents. In the episode Overnight Success, there's a scene where Lincoln's friend Clyde comes over to spend the night at his house, and this is the first episode where Clyde's dad show up. This episode has been praised because of its inclusion of an interracial gay married couple. Wooden objects have life. This is referring to the fact that Moan owns a wooden doll named Mr. Coconuts, and, and it is shown at times that the doll has a mind on its own. It kind of makes you think about whether or not the house is haunted. Aliens exist in the canon of the show. I couldn't really find any information on this. Uh, the only thing I had that could relate to this is in the season 5 episode, Zack Attack, where one of Lincoln's friends, Zack, fakes, uh, fakes an alien landing in which the whole town goes on a hunt for them. Luna is bisexual. In the episode, Ellis for Love, in the very end of the episode, Luna's crush, Sam, reads a note from Luna and makes Luna smile, implying she appreciates her. In another episode, Study Muffin, Luna has a crush on Lincoln's tutor, which is a guy. So all this alludes to the fact that Luna is bi. Mexican school students printed and read a not safe for work The Loud House comic. Believe it or not, this is actually true. I sadly cannot find the original image for this source, but I do know that the comic was about Lincoln and his sister Lynn. And I think you can connect the dots there. I just don't know why they would do something like that. How did the Loud family come home in the tripped episode? From what I read about the ending, I'm pretty sure that they probably called someone to help them get back home or get, ba or get back on another plane. But then again, it's a cartoon, so anything can happen. Luna is based on Freddie Mercury. I think the only reason this entry is on here is probably because Luna likes to sing and is also part of a band. So I think this is half true, but I also don't see any information where I look to back up this claim. Lenny was never stupid. There's a theory that Lenny was never stupid and that she made it all up just to make her family think she's dumb. But the only real information for this entry could imply is in the episode The Butterfly Effect where Lenny got hit on the head and turned smart. In that same episode, the entire thing was all in Lincoln's head, which could imply that Lenny was never stupid in Lincoln's eyes. The Strange Creation of the Wan X Maggie Maggie is a one-off character in the Loud House, and apparently there are ships with her and Luann. But then a little, a little later, Luann had a crush on a boy named Benny, so I guess the ship is probably dead now, I suppose. Planning a special episode about Peru. This one is a rumor, but I personally think this is referring to the episode in the spinoff of the Loud House called the Casa Grandes, where Ronnie Yen tries to get her dad to not move to Peru. But that's all I can really find out about. The Louds are smarter than they seem. This probably is about how some of the Loud kids can do stuff that normal people probably can't do at their age. Like Lisa is the smartest in the family at only 5 years old. Lana is a mechanic at 7 years old. And how Lily can speak full sentences at only 2 years old. The confusing endings of Wheel and Deal and Tough Cookies. This is just referring to how Will and Bill's ending was about Lana's idol, Bobby Fletcher, going to the moon and Tough Cookie's ending, where Lincoln and Clyde decide to go back home after realizing that the space program is not for them. Butterfly Effect was to be the original ending of the show. To sum it all up, it's a rumor, but sadly I have no information on this entry. I was actually really excited to find more information on it, but sadly I couldn't find anything. The Loud Comic by Jump Jump. Jump Jump is an infamous Loud House fan artist and comic maker that made a not safe for work comic about Luann and Lincoln that goes into some romantic topics inside of it. I'm not going to go into detail about it just because I still want to call this channel family friendly. Possible crossover with Spongebob. This is just not real. There's been no information at all regarding a crossover with the Loud House and Spongebob. And considering both of his creators are gone, 
it's not likely we'll see a crossover anytime soon. The Ultimate Treehouse was personalized. The Ultimate Treehouse was a mobile game about the Loud House, where you stack your treehouse and keep on building up and up and earn rewards and tasks. I don't know what it means by personalized. All I know is about the game. If anyone knows what it's talking about, what it means personalized, then let me know. The fate of the characters who did not appear again. I don't think there was any fate to the characters. I think that most of them were just forgotten about or was never used again and were only used for that one time in the episodes. The Loud House fan types. There are a bunch of people in the Loud House community that are nice people, but then there are some who are rude. Thankfully, I'm in the nice category, but there are some people on here that are racist, sexist, and kind of creepy. That's why you shouldn't bore people like that in case anything bad happens. Okay, so Layer 2 is finally finished. There was still a good amount on this layer that I knew about, although others were kind of weird or didn't make sense. But all we have now is the last layer, which is Layer 3. I'm sorry if I don't know a lot of this information on this layer, because trust me, I'm not going to know about half this information. So, mm, sorry if Layer 3 is shorter than the others. But enough rambling. Let's get on to the third and final layer. Season 1 episodes are unfinished Season 3 episodes from Kick Batowski. Kick Batowski is a Disney show that Chris Savino did write and produce, but that's the only bit of information I can think of that could relate to The Loud House and Kick Batowski. Meister Box and Juliax93 are the same person. While they do have the same kind of art style, Meister Box's art has that sort of 3D feel to it, while Juliax93 has a normal 2D style to it but the similarities are still there. Loanne was more sadistic than she looked. In a few episodes, Loanne seemed, Loan seemed to prank her family hard on April Fool's Day, some of the pranks looking like they could lead to some serious injuries. Maybe that's why Jump Jump made that comic in the first place. Sabino's original idea for the series. I still think this is referring to what I said back in layer one, where Sabino wanted the show to be about rabbits, and I think this is I, and I think this is what this entry is talking about. Javi Ludes 02. There's a lot of, there's a lot of fan artist named Javi Suzumaya who has a Twitter account named Javi Ludes 02 where he posts not super work art on there. Most of these drawings are from the Loud House and like I mentioned before, I want this channel to be safe, so I'm just going to leave it at that. The Louds are monitored by the US government. The only bit of information I have on this is in the season 5 episode of Family Bonding where Lincoln suspects their new neighbors are not what they seem and tries to expose them. But other than that, I have no idea on what it's talking about. Jump Jump almost got arrested in the United Kingdom. From what I read on a Twitter thread that, that now has about half of the tweets deleted, Jump Jump got harassed and doxxed by someone and even got swatted. Now, since the original tweets are deleted, I don't know why Jump Jump got arrested, but it probably wasn't good. The alternate fate of the show. I have no clue at all to what this is referring to. Again, is it about the original rabbit's idea? Uh, that's all I can think of. I knew Leo 3 was going to give me issues. The series stopped being the same after The Mad Scientist. The Mad Scientist is a season 3 episode where Lisa wants to get away from her family and stays at a science place. But the series feels the same since I've watched about every episode. I think this entry is just a theory. The Complex Adventures of Eddie Puss The Complex Adventures of Eddie Puss is a short comic made by Chris Savino where our main character, Eddie Puss, has romantic feelings for his mom or something like that. I don't really want to get into it. But if you know, you know. The relationship between Flip and the Loud family. Flip is another side character in the show, and he's generally seen to dislike the Loud family. So I assume that the relationship between them is more or less rocky. The Loud House and the Casa Grandes are from alternate universes. This entry is the first one where I totally disagree. 
In episodes like City Slickers, Lincoln and his family are shown to be visiting Ronnie Yen and her family at times, so there's no way that they are in different universes. Loud parents aren't as good as they seem. In the infamous episode, No Such Luck, the family turn against Lincoln after learning he's bad luck and even the parents kick him out outside of his own house. So it really makes you think if they are nice or not. Alternate Timelines This one I'm just stumped on. I legit have no clue on what this entry is even talking about. Alternate Ending Episode of Washed Up From what I know and read, this one is just a theory and a bad one at that. I can't even find any information on this one. Red Kaze is part of the show. Red Kaze is another Loud House fan artist and yeah, he makes not safe for work art. And I highly doubt that he's even a little bit in the show. Because I think they would know about his art real quick. Lucy's deleted original song for the episode, Real Loud Music. Real Loud Music is a season 3 episode where Luna plays music in front of a large crowd, not before she thinks of lyrics for the song. Lucy has a song called Song of Silence, but I can't find anything about an original deleted song. Incestuous ideas Sabino had in mind for the series. No. Just no. There's no record of anything even related to that. So, no. Internal sabotage. I've been trying to look and look, but nothing comes up. And even the name sounds so confusing. The Loud House is feminist propaganda. The only thing that could relate to this is the fact that Lincoln has ten sisters and they don't do any stereotype woman things. Eh, besides Lola. Carla Saka Sophia hates being in the Loud House since Savino's departure. I don't think she did because Savino left in 2017 and Carla was still on the Loud House in season 4, which was in 2018. So, I don't think so. The real reason for Savino's dismissal. I don't know what it's saying about his real dismissal. All I know is, is that his dismissal was that he touched girls in a not safe way, let's put it that way. The series is intended to be altered by fans. I don't know at all in what this is talking about. If it was, then wouldn't you think that they would make it just a bit more obvious? Stella's strange redesigned decision. Again, don't really know what, it, what this is talking about. The only thing I know is that Stella is a side character in The Loud House. The real first nine episodes of the fourth season. I just have no clue what this even means. What even are these entries? The twelfth, Brother Loud. This is more so theories and such, but it's always cool to think about the Loud family having a twelfth child. But in reality, this is just a theory. So guys, that was the Loud House Iceberg. I can't believe that it only took like two days for typing. But hey, it was all worth it. The real reason I wanted to make this in the first place is because I never made an Iceberg video before and I want to do it now before it's too late. And also the Loud House is my favorite show of all time and I'm so glad I was able to get an English version of this Iceberg. So I want to thank Nignus for having this Iceberg in the first place and if it wasn't for him, this video would not exist. So guys. Be sure, to, be sure to check out his YouTube and Twitter. The links will be down there if you want to check it out. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. The links will be down there as well. But anyways, guys, I'm SolidMount17, and I'll see you guys in the next video.